Well, hi there, Pluckers. I have a sore finger here again with you. Thanks for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is a real classic number from Tim Hardin again, uh, the chap that wrote uh, Reason to Believe. He also wrote a song called If I Were a Carpenter, which again uh, was much better known by the uh, cover artists such as Johnny Cash and Bobby Darren and even uh, the likes of Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin, I think, did a version. And there's probably a host of others as well. Anyway, without more ado, I'm going to play through the song and uh, break it down and show how I played it. So here we go. <laughs> in there but never mind it wasn't too bad right you get the gist um, right as you can probably hear I'm uh, I'm in drop D tuning okay um, standard uh, so other than that the only string that's different is the uh, E6 string is down to D okay the rest of the strings are standard pitch okay so all you do is loosen off the old six string here uh, down until it sounds like the fourth string. Okay, so okay, and then you've got drop D tuning, which should sound like this. Okay, and uh, this is a relatively simple song, really, but it's just a brilliant song. But it's just so simple. There's only three chords in it, and that's basically a C. Uh, sorry, D. What am I talking about? C. <laughs> D and a C and a G obviously but obviously we can't play the full G because the the uh, top uh, bottom E string is, is detuned to D okay so we, but so instead of playing the G like like normal we only play it with the 
that finger on the second fret of the fifth string and little pinky down on the third fret of the second string. Okay. And um, the introduction to the song is, I've, I've, there's several versions obviously out there, mine's a bit of a mishmash of them all really. Okay. So uh, the introduction I played is basically, uh, um, you play a basic D shape and you play strings 4, 3 and 2 repeatedly okay and then you build up to a C on the fifth string okay and then so it's open fifth second string second fret on the fifth string make the C chord and then play down from the fifth string down to the third string and then hit the fifth uh, string third fret again so it goes back down again from third fret second fret open on the fifth string so from that again and then I'm doing a bend on the third string of the sixth string and then open sixth string Right, got that? And hit all strings, really nice deep. Okay. And I played that a couple of times and then and then end up on the just on those strings four, three and two uh, on the T shape. Okay. And when you're ready, start singing. If I were a now this this is uh, goes back down to the C carpenter. Now what this does is basically if I so it goes, and then it goes. So got that is it's when you hold the C shape you play the fifth string, fourth string, third string. Okay, so just play those three, and then you hammer on the fourth string to the second fret, and then off, and then hit the fifth string third fret again. Okay, so it's if I were a So it's hammer on, and then play the open to the fourth string, and then to the third fret of the fifth string. Got that? Sorry. If I were a Got that? And then you hammer on to the second fret of the fifth string, and put your pinky down on the uh, or, or your third finger, whichever you want to do, onto the third fret of the second string, but you hammer on and work your way down to the second string, okay? So it's like if I were a and you were a back to the D, but play the six, get the bass note if you can. Maybe. Okay? So it's if I were a carpenter, when you were a man, same again. Okay, and that's the same all the way through the song. It's the it's the sort of. picking on the D in between. Okay, So that's that. Um, so that's the basically the verse to sort it for you. So, if I were to go, you carrying the parts I could be happy. So I do a couple of verses and then I go into the old um, 
it, it goes into this, comes out of the Tinker one, following behind, and I go, just like the intro. And then we go into the middle section, which is Save My Love Through Loneliness, which is basically a C, just a normal C. Save my love, back to the D, loneliness. C again, Save My Love Through uh, Sorrow D, Sorrow. And then I give you my room C. That one again, just like the verse bit. another intro the way I play it anyway and it goes into another verse or another two verses uh, then it does the middle section again say my love and that's basically all there is in the song really uh, so there's just the verse and the middle section and uh, there was one little bit I played that you probably noticed uh, which was probably you didn't see because it's off camera <laughs> so hang on a bit uh, just in case you want to try it I don't know it's just something I I heard on the Robert Plant version I think it was which I quite liked where it, where it went um, say if, if I was doing like the uh, if I were a miller okay if I were a miller Instead of going into the, that shape of D, I went into this shape of D up here, which is the 10th fret, 2nd string, and the 11th fret, 3rd string, and I'm basically playing the first 5 strings. Well, you can play all of them actually, because that's, that's D of course, so you could play them all. It's typical Led Zeppelin sound, that, isn't it really? So it's, it's that one. It goes down to 2 frets. And then you change shape and you go up to the 12th fret and you play the 12th fret of the 3rd and the 2nd string. And back down to the 1st shape which is the 2nd string's 10th fret and 11th fret on the 3rd string. So that bit there comes in after the first part of the verse where it goes uh, if I were Okay. It's just a little thing I heard. I thought it was quite nice. So it's after the first line of the verse. Anyway, I digress. Um, put the camera back. Okay, there we go. So uh, that's it really, I can't really tell you anything else about it really, it's just a case of playing it, practicing it, and um, putting it together. Um, thanks for watching and listening, and I hope you enjoyed that, it's a great number. Bye for now, see you later, bye bye.